Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I'll be talking about Peterbot versus Code Commander. So, as basically everybody knows, PewDiePie versus T Series, but actually, not a few. A few of you know it's PewDiePie versus Coco Melon. So, what I'm talking about is the YouTube subscriber war. So, let's take a look at the past. Okay, so let's just introduce the competitors of the YouTube battle and talk about the YouTube battle. The YouTube battle is like very high subscribe. So, a YouTuber who really, with many subscribers, competing. So, like PewDiePie and T-Series have lots of subscribers and they're a really hot topic about competing subscribers. Let's look at, look at PewDiePie and T-Series. PewDiePie has currently 106 million subscribers, 25.8 billion views, joined in 2010, and has 4,000 videos. And the owner of it is named Felix Arvid of Jailbird, which is basically Felix, everybody knows PewDiePie, and then his wife is Marza, married in 2019, and of course, his job is a YouTuber. So let's have a look at T-Series. T-Series is has 151 million subscribers, 121.2 billion views, joined in 2006, and has 14k videos. He's found, founded in 1983, which YouTube is not there yet, so they joined in 2006, but a company was founded in 1983. The owner of the company is Gaoshan Kumar and his job is a businessman. So that's it with the introducing and let's look at the past battle. So it's a very hot topic two months ago that there's a war between PT series and PewDiePie. PewDiePie has nearly like 95 or 96 million subscribers and T series has like 93 or 94 million subscribers and then somebody just make a humor and stuff and started this war and of course PewDiePie was in it and then they start competing subscribers all over the world people are doing their job people are hanging signs saying subscribe to PewDiePie if the PewDiePie supporters even my classmate in the school band he wrote on two A4 papers and then showed the whole band subscribe to PewDiePie and that was the time I know who is PewDiePie is but actually not much news and not much videos and clips to prove that people are supporting T-Series. Of course, there are lots of people supporting T-Series, but nobody is promoting their channel. So which means T-Series is not really into this battle. So they're just peacefully doing their own stuff. But people are getting more and more crazy. PewDiePie fans are just littering like, a crazy chaos. They're just spending everyone to subscribe. But the sad thing is, T-Series won. Nobody knows why T-Series won. Maybe Subbot or maybe T-Series did something secretly. We don't know. But just, just we have to tell T-Series won the previous and of course the first YouTube subscribe, the biggest YouTube subscriber battle. Now back to current at the present, T-Series has already had one 151 million subscribers with PewDiePie only 106 million subscribers it's like impossible to compete again so the comp competition is over and of course T-Series was the king and of course T-Series is the first person to get the 100 million subscribers award on YouTube then what happens next? is PewDiePie gonna sleep his whole life? no there's a new battle coming if you don't know who is Cocomelon in Cocomelon is a nursery rhyme and makes ABC videos that educate three year olds and basically he's now at 91.5 million subscribers and has 74.3 billion views joined in 2010 same as PewDiePie and has 556 videos nearly half away from PewDiePie not even half that's like 2.5 times of PewDiePie's videos so what they're having now is not PewDiePie is not even interested in the battle anymore. He does not want to have a competition. He's like he's peacefully doing everything himself, and he don't what he he actually knows there's Coco Melon, but he's not into this battle because he lost in his first battle, and he doesn't want to get involved in the second battle again. But this topic is getting hotter and hotter, and that's the reason why I'm still talking here. So Coco Melon versus PewDiePie. So I'm not going to talk about much about PewDiePie versus T-Series because that's not the topic today. But I'm going to talk about more about PewDiePie and Coke Melon. 
So let's just actually look at the average CEO score of their bug videos. CEO score is a thing made by Social Blade. If you have download or install it onto YouTube, every time you click in the video, you'll see the CEO score right next to the video. And here's the average CEO score of PewDiePie and Cocomelon. I did a research on it, and CEO score of PewDiePie is actually 0 to 10, the average. I clicked on many videos and that, one, that was what it showed. 10 or 5 or 10. Cocomelon is actually CEO score is 70 to 85, some more even 90. But why will PewDiePie be that low as his marks? And does his qu video quality, quantity, and is it not that really fun? Is the quality bad, the quantity not enough, or the quantity too much? That's not the problem. Because actually, CEO score is making stuff that to check how much links you put in the description, in, in the description, how much tags you put, what do heart comments, do pin comments, do share on Facebook, and lots of stuff that has nothing to do with the video, but outside and a bit related to the video. Of course, if you down, if you install TubeBuddy, sorry, if you install Social Blade, you see that PewDiePie has only like one or even zero tags because he don't even need tags to let people know his video. He has lots of subscribers and subscribers watching the video by notifications every day. But of course, Cocomelon is a whole different thing. Cocomelon is a company, and of course, he wants to introduce to more new people so they make more tags. And that is the reason why Cocomelon is catching up. Okay, the CEO score is really high, but of course, they have lots of tags to attract other people. So that is the reason why PewDiePie is really down. But this can be the real thing of PewDiePie. Now we're talking about the quality, not quantity nor the outside of the video we're talking about the quality of the video we need quality and coco melon's videos quality if you're a real or we can say that's really perfect if you're an age like me or higher of course you're not gonna watch those videos because i'm almost primary six guys no matter how and but that's a record of the total marks not only a ceo the quality everything the total marks of PewDiePie show in Social Blade is D minus. My channel is C plus, but his channel is D minus. What is wrong with that? But Cocomelon is nearly the top. Like T series, they're both A plus plus, which is like the very very top in Social Blade. The list of it. So why will this happen? First of all, they both are educational and quality really high quality for the real life people and most of them like Coco Melon teaches other it's educational so people want educational stuff T-Series is a music channel music's real quality so everybody wants to watch it but PewDiePie he makes memes Luai Minecraft his stuff looks very lousy but it catches up the latest gossip. It's suitable for teenagers. But the problem is nobody understands this. They really want the real quality, not the current quality. No, I mean current quality, not the quality. So that is the problem why PewDiePie is D minus. But of course, in our hearts, PewDiePie is not D minus. PewDiePie should be A plus plus plus. Okay, back to the battle. Who will win? This is nearly the end of the video, and I'm gonna answer this question. Who will win? But before, let's just have a look at this list. I popped up a list, and you can see there is Cocomelon and PewDiePie. So I'm not gonna show T-Series line, you can show it. I'm going into Social Blade. This is a future list of PewDiePie first. Uh, PewDiePie versus Cocomelon. You see on the list, in present, PewDiePie is 106 million subscribers, keeping on going, not moving. And if you see more further, until 2025, as the average of the present, uh, the current, PewDiePie will be still at stuck at 106 one, million subscribers. It will not move. And it will not move for nearly five years. And that time, Cocomelon's like nearly 100. 30 or 40 million subscribers and I think PewDiePie actually have looked this chart because he had actually given up. We don't want PewDiePie to give up. We want Brofist back. We need Flo Gang. So actually 
on average and as the average of the current PewDiePie can't win this battle the future has answered our question PewDiePie won't win and by 2025 more and more youtubers will catch up PewDiePie and PewDiePie will not only be the third one the third place on YouTube it might be the fifth it might be the tenth it might be the hundredth but we don't want to see this is getting worse and worse PewDiePie is not growing even a single million subscribers in the past three months and everybody's worried except PewDiePie because PewDiePie he thinks the war is over nothing can happen nothing can change and Coco Melon just beating up and he's like giving up his channel I know he's not giving up his channel but just giving up the competition. He given up his loyalty and his heart. Nothing can happen. PewDiePie is losing. Floor gang might disappear. There's no brokers on YouTube. And all your recommendations will be nursery rhymes, Indian style music, and no more rewise, no more memes, no more latest gossips. But you know, we can't change the past, but we can't change the reality. Subscribe to PewDiePie right now. I don't care if you search. Click the link down in the Subscribe to PewDiePie. Join his YouTube channel only five dollars a month, and make sure to join Brophy's Vlog Gang. Make sure to join. Subscribe to PewDiePie. We can ch we can't change the past, but we can change the re. What we can is to change the reality. We can actually change the future. Subscribe to PewDiePie. So this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy, like, and subscribe, and subscribe to PewDiePie. Um, see you guys next week. Goodbye. Love now.